Hello guys, welcome to GTV Presence Tech View. Another episode. In this episode, I'll show you um one troubleshooting. So troubleshooting means what? Which troubleshooting? So if you have a B center and for some reason you restarted your B center and B center is not opening, that means your B spare web client is not loading. So uh, I'll show you how we can, the, the reason is not loading because some service is not started. So if some service is not started, then how are you gonna start your service? So I'll show you step by step and I'm going to share my screen. And you guys will be able to see here. So if you have this kind of issues, you can search how to start, stop, or restart the vCenter server uh, services. Then you're gonna get the link, BMR link. So any one of the link you can go. So I just open one of the link here and it says like um, service hyphen control then space dash dash stop all and then start all like same way you can run everything. You see here or start all and stop all or, or status. So we're gonna run this command and how are you gonna run this command? That's another question, right? So which is like, and, and this is the symptom like if you try to access your base center, if you uh, center, sorry, base center, uh, base pair web client, this is the web client, right? This is how we logged in. So I logged into my appliances. Appliances is working fine. There's no issue with the appliances. If you uh, refresh it, I, I'm able to log in appliances. So on the appliances, you're gonna see the services here, but it's very difficult to find out from here, which one you need to start, or you can manually start one by one. You see a lot of services stop. And this is what you are able to see when you run it. So how you're gonna start the services. So there is a very easy way you can do that, which is if you can run a party session, do the SSH on it. But before you do the SSH, make sure your, um, you go to the access and SSH login should be enabled and also make sure uh, enable the batch shell for some few uh, minutes. I can say for 320 minutes or something or maybe 100 minutes, it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, all the services is enabled right now from the B Center server appliances. And so my target is to resolve this issue, right? So what are you gonna do? You from anywhere where you have installed your party tools, P U T T Y. It's a small tools, and it's pretty small. Uh, easy to install and it's free. So click on your party tools and type your B Center um, uh, IP address ten dot fifteen dot zero dot nineteen. In our case, this is the IP address of the B Center, and then access and type root. Hit enter. And the password. So make sure you click here, right? So when you type the password here, it's not going to show you. So make sure you type the right one. All right, I'm able to log in. Now it says launch bash. So you have to type S H E L L shell. Okay. So now I've logged in. Now, do you think you need to rem remember or memorize the command? You don't need to, you just search it in the get right? So what you can do, right click on it, copy here, and then just paste it here. So if you want to check the status, instead of start, you can say status. If you want to stop, you can say, instead of start, you can say stop. And everything else will be the same. But I'm not doing anything, I just, I just want to start it. Hit enter. Now you see everything is trying to start. So sometimes it takes a, uh, it, it takes some time. You have to wait. Uh, 
and maybe you can just try to run it here okay see we got back right so the service is already started it's already started before when we try when we run we saw some error right now it's loaded it's, so now easily you can just go there and so it still is waiting for some other service but anyway um, the issues we found is already resolved and some other it's just waiting for some other service to run So sometimes you're gonna face this kind of issues whenever your vCenter illegally shut down. In that case, sometimes you'll face this kind of issues. So you see, oh, we already got back our, uh, so I can just log in there. And hopefully I'll be able to log in. The reason is slow because some of the service is still not running. And you see here, my command is still running in the backend. So I'm just waiting. All right, finally, it's loaded. So still I have some issues. It shows the disconnected because all the storage. So my SXA host shows is not connected. So I can maybe try to reconnect. If this is the case, what you can do? Because my ESXi host, my vCenter was illegally shut down. That's why it's happened. So if you have the same kind of issue, what you can do is just reconnect. Okay. Good. Okay, it says cannot communicate. Anyway, but if it is not connected like this, what you can do, just simply remove everything and reconnect it. It's already disconnected, right? Not responding. So you can just say, remove from the inventory. Yes. And this one, remove from the inventory. Again, I have the issues because illegally my both SXI host, the physical machine was shut down. That's why it's happened. So now what I'm gonna do, I will connect. Let's see, do I have the DNS? So you have to make sure. And somehow I found my vCenter DNS was removed. I have to make sure I have the right DNS entry here. Okay. 
Okay, so the problem is somehow my DNS is removed. So what is the name? Syslab ESXi master host 01, right? So my DNS entry was removed, somebody did it, that's why it's, it's a problem. But if, maybe in your case, it's not a problem. That In that case, everything gonna be get back like after you restart the services. Okay, so what it shows, everything is successfully, everything is successful, right? If you can rerun it, so from Vicenter side, I don't have any problem. All the services are successfully loaded. That's what actually I tried to show you here. But I had some other incident happen. Somebody deleted my DNS record. So I have to recreate it. So right click and the new DNS. Uh, as SLV, what is the name? Let's see. Uh, oh, sorry, is this lab ESXi? Okay, anyway. I've heard. This lab ESXi MH02, okay. As this lab. This lab ESXi MH. Zero one. So this that's what I put it in my host name. That's why I'm typing the same one. And the IP was the fifteen dot fifteen dot ten. I remember that my IP address. That's why I'm typing here. And the second one is number two. And IP was ten dot fifteen dot zero dot ten. Okay, it's done. So now I believe I will have access everything. I should have. Okay, so refresh it. Now, now the 10 PTA record here, here, and then another one, 10, okay. Okay, but here is double PTA. Delete one record. If you delete both record. Because it's going to be conflict, we're going to recreate it. Delete and come back here. Fifteen dot fifteen, right? So that's when you if you want to recreate the fifteen dot fifteen, this one. Double click on it, uncheck it, apply, and then I want to recheck it again. Apply and okay. So it's going to recreate the DNS entry here. You see, it's created. So now I can have this name, okay. So this is my SXI host. So I can add it here now. So I'm showing you more like multiple troubleshooting here. If you have this kind of issues, click next. And the license, everything is going to be the same. And okay, so now it's asking me to choose where my BMs will go, but if there's a multiple, so I cannot choose to anyone. It's going to be like, um, it's going to be show outside of this folder. Later on, I can move it. Okay, finish. Then I'm going to add another one, which is number two, right? Add host. And number two, number All right, 
So this one is connected now, everything is connected. And if you click here, everything here is connected. DNS is connected. DC, both, both domain controller is connected. Our vCenter is connected. And I'm able to browse it from the vCenter. So everything working fine now. Everything is working fine now. Database is there, infrastructure, verified beam backup. I can move it this one here. So now everything is come back, right? This is what our target. So our appliance is loaded, everything is done. So what we did so far, simply we run this and it resolve all the issues. This is just this command. So again, you have to log into the appliance management, go to the access, make sure you go to the edit and enable everything and also or assign some few minutes for the bash shell, like 100 minutes or something like that. It's up to you. And, and then you have to have the party session, use the party and like type the your vCenter IP address and the password and you're gonna get this and type the shell. And after that, just run this command and that raw command will resolve everything. And that's all. And that's all for, uh, for in this tutorial. And um, I hope it will help you uh, if you have this, this kind of situation in your environment. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and make some comments. And your comments will encourage me to make more videos. And also, if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And I'll see you guys in another um, video. Thank you.